Hey team, welcome back to my channel. I do have something a little special for you today. As you know, Adam and I are in Thailand. Therefore, we're here to experience the things that Thais experience. What you're gonna see coming up is something that is and probably will be for the rest of our trip, the, my most favorite thing that I've experienced. I, I think I can say the same for Adam, but I'll let him do the talking for himself. Without further ado, I just want you to get into it and keep in mind we were educated before we undertook what you're about to see. It's nothing bad. You're gonna, I guarantee you're gonna have a good time watching. I've arrived at the Elephant Park. Activity for the day. Before we begin, pretty much a release. Adam is looking the part. Using pants or not? We are approaching our elephant. So cool. Oh. So beautiful. So, what is everybody wishing to do at this point? Right. Right? Not sure. Not sure just yet. Go first. You can go first. Uh, not right. Not right. No problem. Morning. Morning. Okay. Okay. So, when you get to your elephant, give them a nice pat, yeah? This is the captivity collar. Do not hold on to this, it will have no effect for you whatsoever. This one is perfectly fine, no problem with holding on to that one. When you get on, pop your hands on the domes of her head, get your foot over and slide yourself down, okay? Again, this is how our franchise have ridden elephants for thousands and thousands of years, and there's no problem with whatsoever. What you want to do is shuffle as far forward as you can, to your knees, and there is hands on top of the head like so. Alright, so that is how you get on at the front. On the back, same principle. Give her a nice pat, like so. Pull the rope and then tip the leg over and shove your out through that. You can put this leg down while you're at the platform. If you're not putting this one down, you can do before that, we don't want anyone to interact. Yeah, you put you down the yeah, so when you're away, you can just slide this one back down. Mm, yeah. Now, health and safety is there are some low tree hanging, uh, low hanging branches on some little trees. Uh, so just obviously watch your head on that one. As well, if you do wish to get down, just let your fan fan know on the self. Just say down and then sit down safely. Please do not attempt to jump off. All right. One of our elements is just getting a hose. You might get a little bit of water to spray it on top of you in a second. Okay, so probably won't put you on. What I'll do is I'll put you. So beautiful. That's a whole lot of poo. <laughs> Was that what you experienced? <laughs> beautiful. Can't believe I'm walking right beside an elephant. So amazing. Oh, three of them. Okay. Come on, put those. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
It is such a humbling experience. Holly, I can't believe I'm walking with elephants. And I don't mean you. On average, it costs us about £125 per day to feed one elephant. Can you take me to your one? Oh, I don't want to be in it, so... <laughs> Two at a time. So I'm feeding senior one. I still can't believe this is happening. She's so beautiful. You can see the others over there. She really hoovers those bananas up. What an amazing experience this is. I'm walking with freaking elephants. What the heck? So cool. We are on our way back down now. In this moment, with seeing you on. Those pants look ridiculous on him. Right. You can do that. Now you're gonna have to put the music over it. Best way. If you want to, there's no graceful way. If not, just let him say no. They will probably help you on as well. Is that him getting on? Senior one. So cool. New one on. I'm okay. And like I say, where you are, just keep her head nice and wet every so often. Splash all around her head. Nice, beautiful. Very cool. With Puxa, she doesn't have any personal space whatsoever. If she's pushing one of the girls out of the way, she'll push one of the girls out of the way. And as you can see with the feet, yeah. kick it away, just be wary of that. Most of the time, like I say, she'll be led down, others, she will have a good old play around. Okay, okay you guys are ready for Puxa. Oh, okay. You don't know <laughs> Adam's got no idea. <coughs> you know Adam's riding the elephant, it's really important to note here, as was explained to us at the start. It's actually completely safe and okay for the elephant to ride it bareback as Adam is doing. 
Um, we made that no. very sure. No, so we made so. very sure of that, as we know, Adam and I are both vegan. We would not be getting on top of no, an elephant if it wasn't that case. I was really not sure. You can sell the rocks if you want, you've got shows in there, up to you. I'm just taking advantage of while she's in, giving her a nice stroke. Wow. What an experience. <laughs> What is most important about this entire experience is to note that this particular park, Bang Nei, is very big on conservation of the, um, the Thai elephant, sorry, the Asian, South Asian elephant. Um, all of these elephants came from the logging industry when the logging industry was shut down in Thailand. Uh, all of the elephants on site, all of the elephants on site are extremely well cared for. Before we began, I didn't actually film, but one of the guides, Mike, he let us know that it is actually ethical to ride an elephant as long as it's done in the correct way. You can do it with a chair. It has to be lightweight material um, and there needs to be a thick mattress underneath it and only for 30 minutes at a time. Um, the best way to ride an elephant is bareback, skin to skin, because then it reassures the elephant and there's no added um, uncomfortable sort of apparatus or frame on top. You did see Adam washing Sinua, our elephant. Oh, so amazing. Obviously, we wouldn't partake in riding an elephant if we didn't think or didn't believe that it was ethical or safe or non-harmful to the elephant. We are vegan. We believe in uh, animal safety and not animal cruelty. Thanks for watching, team. I have a special guest. First time he's actually going to be having a cameo speaking part on my channel. We just wanted to clarify one thing. Firstly, I realized as I was watching back when I was editing, I said the park name wrong. It's not Fang Nei. <laughs> it's Pang Nagar Elephant Sanctuary. Ethical Elephant Sanctuary is the name of the place if you wanted to check it out. I will link it down below if you did want to check it out. They do have a foundation called Steph, the Steph Foundation. That's to rehabilitate elephants who are sick and weak. They are looking to build a hospital in the north of Thailand in order to facilitate that. What we wanted to clarify was the conservation slash ethical part of my vlog that I went over before. So we went to the park, we didn't partake in the actual riding of the elephants, but as we did clarify that if it is done in the correct way, then it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly ethical. Um, keeping in mind during mating season, if an elephant jumps on a female's back, they're even bigger than a female, so they can hold their weight. How much did Sina Nua weigh? Four ton? Yeah, something like that. So. A couple of people on their back, it's really not going to affect them a whole bunch. As vegans, we obviously don't believe, well, it's probably it's not obvious, but it's going to be soon. We don't believe in using animals for any sort of benefit, be it nutrition or entertainment. We didn't ride the elephants, but at the same time, I did wash one because you can see in the video they clearly love it like you're putting a brush behind their ear they'll push back into it so i didn't think washing the elephant was a contradiction of my ethics because she clearly loved it and what you didn't see was what was explained to us at the start what was explained to us at the start is in the wild elephants will coat themselves in rocks and dirt they then go and scrub themselves against a tree before they jump in the water to wash off dead skin what Adam did was actually help her wash off the dead skin by taking a wire brush to her head, shoulders and back. So in effect, 
he was helping her out. And she loved it. What you also don't know is all the money that is taken by the park goes towards creating a safer and ethical environment for all of those elephants that are still in captivity by families and companies and the non-ethical tourist companies here in Thailand. There was, they started off with one elephant, they have now been able to purchase nine and they rent isn't technically, no they use that term. They, they rent use, three. Yeah, they rent three. So eventually they're hoping that because of the owners of the elephants will see exactly how good they're treated there, then they'll be able to take them on board as well. And they are currently within the next month creating a um, free roaming area so the elephants will have a massive paddocks basically to walk through. Still tourism, but it is the best kind of animal tourism you could possibly do ethically because there was literally nothing wrong with what they did. Mm -hmm. And there, you've never seen people that love elephants as much as these people do. Mm -hmm. And this is not sponsored by the way. Yeah. Once again, <laughs> it was I, just really good. <laughs> it was really good. I will link the website to Pangnagar Ethical Sanctuary down below. Keep watching.